Hi guys, Luna here, and welcome to this Hogwarts Legacy Guide on finding and collecting all Demiguise statues or Demiguise moons, as they are known in-game. These statues are needed for the trophy and achievement Demiguise Dread, but will also reward you with the lockpicking spell Alohomora, and you will get all three levels of the spell collecting these statues and completing the side quest. But since statues are found behind various locked doors, you need to collect these in different stages, with the ones inside Hogwarts Castle being the last ones which we will get. We're actually going to start with the ones that are around the towns and villages outside of Hogwarts Castle. So to begin with, this whole thing you need to play through the main story first until you start and complete the main quest, The Caretaker's Lunar Lament, with Gladwin Moon. It's a main quest, so you can't miss this one, and it tasks you with finding a few Demiguise statues, or Demiguise moons as they're called, which is the thing that the statue holds. And upon completion of this, he will reward you with level 1 of Alohomora, which is the lock picking spell. Now, in doing this, it will unlock a new side quest, which is to collect all the Demiguise statues. The first thing that he wants you to do is collect 9 more of the statues, which will reward you with Alohomora level 2. So we're going to head out into the Highlands area, and you can simply go to where I am on the map and collect the Demigai statues. And remember, you can only collect these at night. Revelio. Alohomora. Mine now, Demi guys. Alohomora. Mine now, Demi guys. Mine now, Demi guys. May I help? 
have a moment of your time. Who lives here? Mine now, Demi guys. All right, now we have our nine moonstones or Demi guys statues. We can return to Gladwin and get the next level lock picking, and we can begin to search for the remaining moons. And we're actually going to go and completely get the rest of these moons from Hogsmeade Village and then Hogwarts Castle, and then return to him to get lock pick level three and to complete the quest. Revelio. Alohomora. Mine now, Demi guys. Alohomora. Thomas, eh? I like how you think. Hello, Hamora. Mine now, Demi guys. Hello there, come on in. Plenty to look at here. Hello, Hamora.
Alohomora. Alohomora. Mine now, Demi guys. Off on another adventure, are we? Mine now, Demi guys. Mine now, Demi guys. If someone gets struck by a cursed broom, we do Hello, hope Hamora. it's you. Hello, Hamora. Mine now, Demi guys. Alohomora. Mine now, Demi guys.
Alohomora. Mine now, Demi guys. Hello, Hamora. Mind now, Demi guys. Now that we have collected the remaining statues, talk with Gladwin, who will award you with Alohomora level 3, and he will ask you to collect the remaining statues, which we have done already for the achievement or trophy. There's a few more bits to this quest, but it's all talking, and I will let you find out for yourself who is responsible for setting up all these Demo Guys statues around the game, and you can do that by checking your owl post. Guys, that is it for this Hogwarts Legacy Guide. All the locations of the Demo Guys statues and moons in the world, Hogsmeade and Hogwarts Castle. If you found this video useful, like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video.